Ice River Springs, we've always been very committed to the environment. We've had a lot of projects on the go for a number of years. In particular, you know, we had our geothermal cooling project, we had solar panels that we've installed in a number of our facilities, our lightweighting project, which was to reduce the amount of plastic in the containers. This project began in 2008 when Ice River Springs decided that we wanted to become the first water bottling company in the world to produce a water bottle from 100% recycled plastic. The significance of this project for Ice River is we basically took a uh, beverage container that gets dropped into a recycling bin. In Ontario, those get collected by the municipalities and they'll go to a material recovery facility. That facility will break that into uh, multiple streams of material. So PET bottles will go one way, HDP another way, aluminum cans another way. We then go to those recycling facilities and offer to buy the material. They give it to us in a baled form. We pick it up on one of our trucks, usually coming from a backhaul of one of our other deliveries. We bring it up to our Shelburne facility. The facility in Shelburne has been designed for the Ontario recycling market. In reality, we can handle approximately 80% of all PET collected in the Ontario recycling centres. That is roughly 5,000 kilos per hour or 250,000 bottles per hour. The process in Shelburne starts when we basically break the bale apart. We sort out any bottles that are not necessarily what we want, so you'll have uh, some HDP plastics, we'll have some aluminum cans. So we're just left with the clear PET and the coloured PET, and then we put that through our wash lines. So we grind it into a flake material. Uh, once the flake is washed, we sort it a lot more, and then we bag that material before it gets shipped up to our plant here in Feversham, which is our main bottling plant in Ontario, which is where the food grade side of the operation occurs. So there we'll actually take that flake, we'll melt it down, uh, we'll put it through a melt filtration process. Uh, we then pelletize it, so we turn that plastic back into a small granule. That is the food grade stage of the process. The material that comes off the end of that process then is immediately fed back into our injection machines and made into a preform, which is the basis of the bottle. Uh, we take that preform to our production lines, so it's heated, blown into a bottle, we fill it, it would be capped, labeled, it goes through a QA screening, so there's computers that then again do an optical scan of the bottle, make sure everything's okay with it. We pack it, palletize it. So the unique thing about this process is we no longer use any corrugate in the packing of our material. Uh, this helps reduce our reliance on natural resources, in this case being trees. We then ship the product to our customers, where it'll eventually end up back in a recycling bin, restarting the closed loop recycling process. Basically for a number of years now we've had all these initiatives on the go where we've been trying to, you know, become a more environmentally uh, sustainable company, uh, which is very important for us.